We are jumping on the Jason Tindall hype, the meme, the centre of attention, the absolute legend that is Jason Tindall. We're going to jump on the hype today and do a nice little toon ball, 4 free free, or as I like to call it, Tindall ball. What's going on there guys, Kempi here and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another little tactic video today and today it's quite a funny one, there's a lot of hype, there's a lot of meme, there's a lot of banter going on with Jason Tindall, the man from Newcastle, he's the assistant manager to Eddie Howe. As you can tell from the thumbnail, he likes to be the main guy. And I think everyone said it on Twitter. That, you know, BT Sports are saying it now. New cars are saying it. Athletic Bilbao. And it's all just based on some Twitter account where it's an absolute legend. Notice Jason Tindall just loves being the centre of attention. He has been for his whole career. So we're going to go through today, have a nice little Newcastle tactic. And obviously we're going to be basing it around Jason Tindall. If you can, make sure to like the video. Subscribe to the channel because as I record this, we are seven subscribers away from one thousand subs so if you're not subscribed like 80 percent of you aren't smash that subscribe button and you will make my dreams come true but you can see the first season with newcastle jason tinder as the manager he's done a pretty good job he got us top four 69 points runners up in the carabao cup as well and also fifth round in the fa cup by manchester city so we didn't get knocked out by a bad team at any at all and you know top four i'm quite happy with, with newcastle um for some reason top four is going to be uecl and it's because uh, not UECL, UEL, so the Europa League. And that's because Arsenal come 8th, but won the Europa League. So, <coughs> a little bit annoying in that one. Um, we are going to be 4th though, and we are going to be doing a nice little 10-year sim with Jason Tinder as well. But we're going to get into the rebuild at the end of the video, so stay tuned as to what I'm going to be doing on Wednesday, because it's going to be pretty fun and pretty wild. But in terms of data hub for this team, I've tried to make a tactic. I mean, the way Newcastle play is very... Um, Shit house. I don't know if I can say that. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say he's a shit house team. <laughs> they like wasting time. They like, you know, getting the ball down and getting results. And they grind out results. To be fair to them, they're third in the league. And they do play some very nice football sometimes. But they are known for the biggest time wasters in the league. So, considered 1.37 goals per game, scoring just 1.97. But we are here as a team that wastes a lot of time. And I'm going to do the tactic and the whole run through with Newcastle itself as well. So I'll get into that in just two seconds. In terms of team overview, I'm not sure if we're going to be anywhere. Third on goal scored, to be honest, I'm quite happy with. Possession-wise, I don't expect to keep a lot of the ball. Most shots for, quite a lot, which is good. Most shots against, we are not quite so close to that one either. And um, viewers conceded, we're not on that. So it's quite a difficult system to try and re nail on FM because... You can't just put time wasting down for absolutely everyone because sadly it doesn't work. But we're going to go through the system now. It's a goalkeeper on defend in goal. We know Nick Pope isn't fantastic with his feet. So we try to minimise Nick Pope using his feet because he might come out and get a red card and clatter someone as Nick Pope loves to do. We've got a wing back on support, a right back, cross from deep, stay wider and tackle harder. That's the Kieran Trippier role. He's fantastic and he is the captain in this Newcastle side and an absolute pivotal player for them. Two ball players at the back because they do like to play some decent football, both with stay wider on. A full back on support, a left back with sit narrower and tackle harder. I did have Dan Byrne as a full back on defend and I made sure for the sim he was locked in at left back because I built that role for him and I was worried Matt Target might get picked over him. But big six foot seven Dan Byrne. I mean, the guy's a weapon. He's got 11 goals this season, seven assists as well. So from that left back role, I'm sure he got quite a lot of that big meaty Dan Byrne head on the corners. A DLP on support in DM as Bruno Guimaraes, a very talented young man. He's only, what, 23 years of age, I think he is. He's 25, actually, but he's fantastic. And he is... Brilliant. He was an absolute coup for Newcastle when they got him in. And I mean, he's a very, very good player. So, Bruno Gamera is in DM. More direct passing, dribble more, and tackle harder. I did have him as a DLP on defend, but the results weren't quite there. And I think he's quite a progressive player in that DM role. And the, the DLP on defend, if you go into sort of what it actually is, is a little bit too defensive for my liking. Um, in defensive duty, they'll fulfill an extra defensive responsibility by holding position in front of the defence and will rarely look to help the attacks. And that's not what Bruno G does. He is a getting forward DM. We've got Joe Linton locked in in the box to box with Fielder on the right. Shoot more often, get further forward, move into the channels and tackle harder. Joe Linton has been a man possessed this season. He's fantastic. He is probably going to get player of the season again for New Well, he could get player of the season again for Newcastle. He was fantastic last season and he's been unbelievable this season as well. Um, and he is a bit of a ball winner, but I've put him as a box to box so he does get that little bit further forward. And I mean, in terms of his goals and assists, he managed to get three goals and five assists. So we didn't get the greatest results out of him, but a seven average rating playing midfield is very, very impressive. The Mazzola on attack 
attack I've been using uh, as Joe Willock. I hope he's played a lot of games there. 11 goals and 5 assists from that position. He's a very good player in real life as well. Uh, the instructions we've got on him is run wide with the ball and tackle harder. Because on the inside ball and attack on the left, I've locked in Alexander Isaac as the left winger. Because when Wilson and Isaac play together, I quite like when Isaac is off the left, Sam Maximan is on the right, and Wilson is up top. And I think that's the way they've been playing for the majority of the season. My brother is a Newcastle fan, and this is the way he likes them playing. So I've got them on sit narrow and tackle hider. Isaac this season, 14 goals and 12 assists from that left wing role. And I mean, that dribbling start of 15 and this flair of 16, they need to go up to like 18 and 19 because this man, I don't know if you've not seen the run that he done the other day, it was absolutely outrageous, and he's been fantastic for them since coming in. Uh, get further forward and tackle harder on the right winger on support. Um, I always sort of do a lopsided uh, the way I do things, and uh, I think it works quite well with Newcastle as well, because if it's Miggy Almiron, if it's Sam Maximan, winger on support I think is the best role for them. If you want to make it I mean, slightly more overpowered and maybe not quite so Newcastle, you could go for an inverted winger on support, which I suppose could also be rather realistic. Um, so yeah, you could go with that. A uh, pressing forward on attack up front, but with pass it shorter and shoot less often because for some reason on strikers, shoot less often works quite well. And Wilson does link up the play and he does get in the box and score goals. So we've got work the ball into the box going on and low crosses because getting the ball into Wilson's feet in that six yard box is key for Newcastle. Uh, pass it into space, playing out of defence, overlapping down the right. Uh, attack and width I've got is fairly wide as well. Shorter passing, slightly higher tempo, and the time wasting. I tried many sims of it on frequently, and it didn't quite go uh, to plan. We did get the results out of it, and I noticed as soon as I changed that down to sometimes, it was quite a big difference. So that's what we're going to keep it on, uh, and be more expressive and play for set pieces as well, because Trippier, unbelievable whipping the ball in. Dan Byrne, he's got a big head, so we're going to try and get it on him. Uh, I've got it on roll it out from the back as Nick Pope again, and we want to stop him from using his feet. We're going to slow the pace down because. Newcastle do slow the pace down, uh, but they do counter press and they do counter when they get the ball as well. Uh, we've got on a lower defensive line, a higher press system, triggering the press as much as possible and preventing the short guard distribution because, again, they do press rather high up and I've got it on get stuck in as well. And I think that's quite a good little recreation of the Toon 4 3 3. And for the memes, it's Tyndall Ball. I've done Sims as well with PSG and SC Freiburg, so let's go ahead and see what the results are with them. You guys can make sure though just to quickly like the video, subscribe to the channel, get us to that 1k and also if you can uh, follow all of these four things. You've got Twitter, TikTok, Twitch which I've been making return to very very shortly and also Instagram as well so you can find all things Kempi absolutely everywhere and also sort out SI because Tuesdays and Thursdays there's two more videos of me on that wonderful channel so head over there and get involved there as well. You can see Freiburg's the first team we're going to show you. We come sixth in the league, predicted to come in ninth place. The Europa League were knocked out in the round of 16 by Arsenal, which, believe it or not, is quite frustrating because uh, we actually had Arsenal in our group, and I can't see it, which is rather annoying uh, if I go to here. That'll be much easier. And we managed to win the group, but struggled against Arsenal. We won 3-2 in that game, but then uh, we drew two in that game in the 97th minute, though, to score. But in the round of 16, we did end up losing to Arsenal. And I could go, it was 8 Three. So they got a little bit of revenge on us and we managed to go out in the Europa League. Uh, DFL Pokal, we played Dortmund and lost to them. Uh, with the Bundesliga, we did end up coming sixth place. Obviously, this tactic is built for Newcastle. So other teams might not adapt to it so well. Uh, so if you are going to plug in and play this tactic, I would definitely do some tweaks because it might not work instantly. There could be a few things you've got to change. I mean, Freiburg, we've got Holle scoring 16 goals, 5 assists. Griffo, 8 goals, 3 assists. Um, Wu Zhongyong, Yong, uh, 5 goals, 7 assists. So not the most outrageous of bits here with Freiburg. And to be honest, pretty much average on goals per game and goals conceded per game. But PSG... I mean, we have to test our powerhouse as well. And we didn't quite go invincible. We drew, we drew four. We lost one. We won 33. But we grinded out trophies. We won the Trophy Champs. Obviously, we won Ligue 1. We won the Coupe de France on penalties. Won all versus Montpellier. And we also won the Champions League. Nil-nil on penalties against Milan. And I quite like that. I was going to... You know, I often look for a massive win in the Champions League final or the Coupe de France. I like PSG to smash through everyone. But... It's quite nice. We built a Newcastle tactic and we grinded out results. We conceded just 0.32 goals per game, scoring 2.66. And in terms of goals scored, it was quite well spread out as well. Mbappe, Neymar, Messi, Soler, Renato Sanchez all getting 
above 10 assists. Messi getting 28 assists, Mbappe 17, Soler 12, Neymar 11, uh, Bettina, Fabian, Verratti, Renato Sanchez, Mendes getting right involved with the assists as well is fantastic to see. And in the league as well, with a dominant side, we were top of assists, uh, top of goals, top of fewer shots against, most shots for, most points per game, possession was 62%, fewest conceded, and most clean sheets. 12 goals conceded in a season is very, very good stuff. So, very happy with how the tactic test did go out. And the rebuild on Wednesday is going to be great fun. I'm assuming 10 years with Jason Tindall in charge of Newcastle, locking in the 2-4-3-3. And I'm also going to sim 10 years with Eddie Howe. And he is going to be the centre of attention for that one. And we'll see how Eddie Howe versus Jason Tindall matches up. Who's going to win more trophies? Who's going to score more goals? Who's going to take Newcastle as far as possible with that beautiful Saudi Arabian money? Because they've got a hell of a lot of it. And I'm pretty much there with a the sim on one of the managers. I've got to do another manager. So it's going to be great fun. And make sure to come back on Wednesday for that. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And hopefully by then we've hit 1K. And if not, it's your fault. So subscribe, please. Thank you. And have a good day.